Okay, so we have a question of the day and we have been uh, asking our friends, former friends, uh, our significant others, um, if they would be gracious and tell us what exactly is it about four figured women that attracted them? Uh, John and I met 20 years ago um we we met online and we became fast friends and as you can see 20 years later we're still really good friends so my first question is what was it that first attracted you to me to you to me first and then full-figured women in general um Well, it's an interesting question because, you know, I don't really have a preference, like, in terms of size. Mm -hmm. So what attracted me to you was that you were pretty and you, had a, and you had a pretty smile. And so the fact that you were whatever size you was didn't really, it didn't move me either way. Um, now, I mean, I, I've, I mean I've, I've dated women who weighed 110 pounds to 250 probably. <laughs> Uh -huh. um, so it was really about, for me, I like pretty women, <laughs> to be honest. And so if I find someone pretty or attractive, that's going to catch my attention. And then also someone who has a beautiful smile, which comes from my experience with my family, because we all smile. Yeah. Now, there are some benefits to a, 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 a larger woman than a smaller woman. And it is because I'm in a hug different. Squeeze a, 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 a larger woman in a way that I can't squeeze a, a thin woman. The thin women tends to be like, "Oh, that hurts. <laughs> it's too strong." <laughs> you know, they may like the bear hug, but they don't experience it the same way. And so, but really, I mean, it's really about um, how um, attractive you are, and however you dress or whatever you wear. But whether you whether you're smaller or bigger. If your clothes don't fit, I'm not going to be attracted. If it does, if you're not color coordinated, that can, that doesn't do it. So, uh, so Dr. This, John, Dr. Uh, John, tell me this. Okay. Let's just get down to bare tactics here. Okay. When it comes to sex, right? Is it for you personally more enjoyable with a fuller figure woman or a smaller woman? You you seem like you are a pretty. Uh, nice size guy so right. I'm, you know I'm six how, one i got some weight right uh you know don't get me excited but anyway there's, so. there's, there's been there's only been one that i can think of only one woman who was really big that it was not much because it's too much Just big. the opposite end of the spectrum for if there's a really small woman is it required that she's a spinner because you crush her? Um, or do you have to be creative? Well, I'm naturally a creative dude, so I can work with many things. Okay. <laughs> and so, okay. Um, um, it, it's my thing. And and I, I never I never experienced uh, let's say large women not being flexible or being spontaneous. And I've experienced thin women who who aren't flexible at all. And so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I focus on, uh, like I said, if I find you attractive, does it feel good? That's all I care about for the most part. Now, size doesn't really, you know, that, that's not going to get me to do or not do. Okay. You know, and so, um, so you've um, got a very open mind one way or the other, and it's about the... Yeah, I don't yeah. get caught up six more. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I mean, I'm six four, so I, like I don't, height wise, I mean, I've I've been I've dated or whatever women who were four eleven to six what two or three or four, and so you know like you're dating a child. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. No, no, no. It's not like <laughs> and you know, cause, I mean, look, at the end of the day, lights go out. It don't really matter. Horizontally, it all evens out. It, it all evens out, and if you're yeah, creative yeah. enough, you can make anything work. And so. Yeah. And at, and at 
this point in my life, before I get to like, you know, you know, pretty or size, I, I want to know if it's the same. I don't know if ass is crazy enough or not. That's the first thing. So after that, then you, got, you know, then there's the other stuff that comes into play. But yeah, I, I don't really have a strong preference for average size, larger size. I mean, they all, you know, it's all it's all relative. At the end of the day, what's gonna you know, what's gonna feel good, what's gonna make me happy. And so that's where I focus. Now, maybe when I was younger, I probably had a, a, a slight preference for maybe women with a little more meat on them because my first the, my first high school girlfriend she was uh, um, a little chunky which is like I was well used to, so I didn't really I wasn't really interested in like women but then I experienced with a woman and like that changed my mind <laughs> so things happen so right at this point you know I'm pretty flexible so you're fluid. You just you just like women. You're fluid, but you're not opposed to full figure, slender. No, no. The, but you know the, the other thing is I recognize those terms mean nothing. I've had, I've, I've, I've 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 met women where they call themselves, let's say, full figured, and another one, and they use it, and they have totally different body shapes. Yeah. And so now, yeah, I, I probably have a preference if a woman is like um, a hourglass shape. Now the size of the hourglass doesn't really matter but it's that curviness so i like i like curvy I've, you know and so that's connected to pam greer and that's connected to my high school sweetheart <laughs> they both look curvy so okay. at that point you know yeah. that's well, what that's i look a, for that's a type that's a type right right that's a type right yeah. but then you know life has told me that you know um there's more to life than than curvy women right that 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 you know that i that i'm attracted to so like my, my stuff is, it probably makes some people, for I, I don't have a type, mm -hmm. except my type is sane <laughs> and I don't deal with, I don't deal with crazy. <laughs> cray cray, I don't deal with, so. Does anybody? Uh, <laughs> I don't think anybody, I, well, I don't think I anybody have, willingly. I, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I have, right, right, right. Yeah. No, 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 people, no, no. Yeah, I, 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 I look. I, I work with a lot of couples, and people do choose crazy. People really? choose cray cray. Wow. People settle for that. People wow. don't avoid it. So no, I avoid it. You cray cray. Some you, people need the cop. They need the chaos. They need. Yeah, some people are used to that. And they so, were you know, raised in chaos. They living. They need it. Right. Yeah. If, if they grew up and they grew up in chaos, that's what they're familiar they with it. They know what to need. expect. They know how to react. Exactly. I grew up in chaos. My family was pretty. Oh, I don't like chaos. At this point, I mean that's 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 my. No, me neither. No, Camille, I eliminated. Camille, what were some of those other questions that you had? Um, he kind of touched on one where it said, "When did you realize, or when did you knew that you like a full-figured woman?" And you said your high school girl was a little, fuller. yeah, yeah, a little fuller. Right, it turned right. It, like I said, it started with Pam Greer because I saw her in, in a movie. First woman I saw her naked. And then, and then it was my high school sweetheart uh, uh, as a senior. Okay. Yeah. And that was one of the other questions. Um, who are some of the women in the media that you find attractive or that were full figured? So Pam Greer, is there anyone else maybe now or um, who, who are full figured? Yeah. Um, Bev Smith. How about Jill? Um, let me see. Um, Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Oprah, I've always liked Oprah. Okay. Um, How about Jill Scott? I love me some Jill Scott. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, <laughs> if she couldn't sing, would you love you some Jill Scott? I drink Jill Scott dirty bath water. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and it's interesting, Jill Scott, at one point, Whatever size she was, she was a very similar size and shape to my high school girlfriend. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what caught me to Jill Scott initially was not her voice, although it's okay. beautiful. Yeah. It was like it was it was her it was her shape. Yeah. And so um and yes, I yeah. Awesome. That's good. I would yeah. surf that dirty bath water in a minute. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> So we're now all going to run yeah. outside and get Jill Scott bodies. <laughs> <laughs> um, to, 
Siobhan, did you have a question? Do you have one that you wanted to throw out there? What are one of the questions well, I think, you asked? Well, I think he, he answered all the questions. Yeah, pretty much, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, no shame in this game, I told you. <laughs> let me see. There's one. Okay. Well, you didn't. You did answer all our questions. You did it very well, you know. So. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that, you know. And you know you're, you, you know you're my ace in the hole, right? Yeah. Yes, I know. I understand. At the end I'm not going to touch that. Well, I'm going to huh? leave that right there. I'm not going to touch that. I don't know <laughs> which ace and which hole you're talking about. We're just going to. We're talking about when we're both really old and gray. <laughs> If we have an okay. I just never know what you said. I gotta clarify. Okay. Gotta clarify. <laughs> okay. When we're old and gray, if we have <laughs> anybody, you know, we're, 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 the we're, next time I come out to LA, I have to meet all y'all. We'll make that old that old people pack. <laughs> but of course, of course, we'll still look like this. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. We'll put it on you a Dr. John party. All right, that's, <laughs> oh, hey, that works for me. That would be fun. That would be fun. That works for me. We'd love to have you come to California and be actually on the show. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, you know. That's fine. Huh? Next, <laughs> yeah, look, the know, next time I'm out there. It's cool. summertime and you're overdue. So, come this on. This is now. true. Huh? Okay. All I'll right. Be, uh, we'll talk about it. I'm going to make a plan. I, I'm not surprised. All right. You need to come on out, okay? <laughs> So it's cool. Great. Okay. okay. Thank you so much again. Appreciate it. All right. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, that okay. was our question All right, y'all. today. And that's it. And we're, we're going to sign off. So we'll talk again real okay. soon. Okay. Y'all take care. We will. All right. I'm, okay. I'm going to fix me some dinner because it's 830 here. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. John. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.